also enjoying the new conservation club. Oh, was I talking? Am I not supposed to do that? Go run and play. Come on. Elsa, tell those people that say two years old is too young for off-leash training, tell them they're crazy. Come here. Oh, look at that. Elkhound go. She's in seventh heaven right now. Hope she heard me. She's been uh, pretty lazy through the summer. It's been too hot for her to be out. So we had a, a low 70s day. Just got the membership here yesterday. Thought it would be a good time to bring her out get her some run time in. I don't know if you can still see her here, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the size of this place. That tree line there ends the property all the way up until about that break in the trees right there. And then it has a whole nother field on the opposite side of that tree line. And then as I move around this way you can see well hopefully you can see all the different trap and ski fields they've got some camping areas back there and then it goes all the way to that tree line and then all the way out to these railroad tracks can't remember what the website says oh where did that Elkhound go There she is. I don't remember what the website says, but uh, I think it was something like 140 acres. So, and look at that recall work. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Good girl. Were you out exploring? Yeah, were you out exploring? Are you happy? Elsa, are you happy? Oh, that better not have been a no. Well, I thought she was going back into explore mode. I'd say a little bit more. But yeah, like I was saying, throughout the summer she's been really, really lazy because it's been too hot to get her outside. 
Um, and it was perfect timing coming into the winter. That's my prime season. I love the cold weather. For me to start getting back into some old hobbies when my grandfather was still alive and I was much younger, we did a lot of trap shooting and fell in love with it. And of course, early adulthood, you get young and dumb and start getting into other stuff. We dropped out, uh, went into the military and shooting we do there is nothing more than just putting rounds down range. So thought, hey, let's go out to a conservation club and get back into trap shooting, maybe some skeet shooting, all that good jazz. Plus it'll give me a chance to get Elsa outside, get her exploring. And you can see it might still be a little bit hot for her, but she needed it. Um, the reason I chose this place over another one we have here in town. Uh, the other one is nestled in the middle of uh, a suburb type area. When, when you're in the club, you can tell that it is still a conservation club, obviously. There's, there's four ponds there, they have a trap range, they have a, a rifle and pistol range, they have uh, a couple acres for you to walk on. When I came out here and saw the size of this place, I knew I knew it was going to be good for Elsa. Uh, the other place, they didn't do any leagues or competitions or anything like that. I'm not saying I'm at that point, but that's something that would interest me. Uh, so yeah, they didn't even do in-house uh, shoots. And this place is <laughs> way more organized than even uh, my grandfather probably knew. Uh, as far as I know, from when he was trap shooting, you know, there were 15, 20 guys that went out to the sportsman's club, and they just trap shot, and um, I don't think they were very well organized, certainly not on a, uh, a national basis, um, maybe not even throughout the Midwest, it was a fairly small sportsman's club, uh, but here they do national wide shoot once a year from what I know. Um, they do both winter and summer leagues. Um, they have, it's probably not quarterly, but something like quarterly competitions in-house. So there's there's some, some good competition here for me to get myself motivated to um, get back into this on a, on a more permanent basis. And plus, look at this country, it's so beautiful. So beautiful, isn't it, Elsa? Has a whistle stop sound to it. Good old trains. So I'm not sure if I'm going to put this up on YouTube or not. Um, we'll see how it goes. If if I do, this will most likely be the first video on this channel. I had an old channel that was more or less for the former owners of Beer of Ilsa. Um, but this will probably be the first one, so what I plan to do with this new channel is be a little bit more public, um, you know, outdoorsy type stuff, um, shooting, camping, if I can work it in, um, and also some moto vlogging. And if you're watching this and don't know what moto vlogging is, you need to check out what that is. Some of those videos are absolutely hilarious. Um, probably won't hear me doing a lot of shout outs, but I'll send them out here if you're gonna go check out what moto vlogging is. Um, channels to look for, The Garden Snake, Spicy 110, Moto Trippin', Lori Jennifer, uh, Fire Guy 24, all good places to start. And uh, I've been watching them for a couple months now. And it's really got me curious as to whether or not I should start. Um, so, upon further, further exploring, <laughs> I realized this place is much, much bigger than I thought it was. Um, towards the inside of uh, the conservation club 
during that 360 view I showed you uh, uh, a tree line that I thought ended the place and come to find out that is completely false it's split up in a T you have passed that tree line out to the, the railroad tracks and then all of this that house is an obvious sign that it ends but then you can see the skeet shoot houses off in the distance there so all of this field is still the conservation club you have to be pretty excited huh pop yeah you got all this place to play with all right and on that note i am going to say goodbye